What's up, Internet? It's Drusif, back at you in your ear and eye holes. Today, we're going to be reviewing everyone's favorite childhood juice. So join me as we stick a straw into the Caparison Guitars TAT Special Effects Metal Machine Adam D Signature Guitar. <laughs> that is, that's a mouthful right there. Uh, if you're new to this channel, please do the like and subscribe dance and uh, leave a comment down below of your favorite giraffe's name. And uh, there will be a contest. There will be no winners. <laughs> Without further ado, let's take a look. The Caparison TAT Special Effects Metal Machine comes in a Reunion Blues Continental Gig Bag case. With tons of padding, spacious extra pockets, and shoulder straps that can be detached and zipped into the bag itself for easier travel. Caparison also includes a myriad of tools to make adjustments and a certificate of authenticity. Upon opening, we're greeted by the Trans Spectrum Black Finish, a Graftech Black Tusk Nut at the end of a five-piece maple and walnut 25 and a half inch neck. Fishman Fluence Kill Switch Engage Ceramic Pickups with two voices controlled by a lone push pull volume knob. Go to String Through Bridge. 27 small stainless steel frets laid into an ebony fingerboard with Caparison's classic clock inlays. A 21 millimeter thick oiled finished neck that transitions into the body finish. Six hip shot grip lock locking tuners. A very unique asymmetrical design where the neck angles toward the player for optimum comfort and ergonomics. Unfortunately, difficult to illustrate on video alone.
All right, so final thoughts. As per usual, Caparison absolutely nailed it with this guitar. If you're an Adam D fan, this thing is gorgeous. My gripe, I would say, is uh, I'm not particularly the biggest fan of single humbucker guitars. I really like having uh, you know, a pickup in the neck. But the intention of this guitar is definitely to be more of a stripped down, simplified, it's a metal machine. It just plays heavy friggin' metal, brother. <laughs> I think intention is a very important word in this case. As usual, comparison, no matter how stripped down this thing is, you know, just the one pickup, it's got a tunematic bridge. Super stripped down, but very, very intentional. And Comparison's build quality is like, seriously knocks everybody out of the park. You know when you're grabbing a Comparison, you're not even gonna find little tiny flaws somewhere. Absolutely worth the asking price. And all of my love to Comparison for just continuing to build ridiculously quality instruments. And even, they come with certificates of authenticity, like they are not messing around. Also, I didn't really talk about it in the last one, but even just the gig bag quality is ridiculous. Like this is quality that I would want from a very expensive backpack but built into a gig bag. The little straps are detachable, but you can detach them and then just zip them up into the gig bag. So you still have them there if you want them. It's ridiculously padded. It's still not huge though. Wow. It's just like that just fits in with the rest of the comparison. Every little detail, every little nuance, they just nail it. I love it. I love it. I do have to say I'm not the biggest fan of the Kill Switch Engage signature Fishman Fluence pickups. I'm not a Fishman Fluence hater. I actually have the Abassis in two of my guitars. It's just these kind of have a little bit too much of a, a low mid honk to them. They sound great for the kind of things that are played in Kill Switch Engage, the sort of notey kind of stuff, the chuggier end, as opposed to the forbid me say it gent kind of stuff. It ends up a little bit thicker with two Cs, if you know what I mean, as opposed to kind of a tighter sort of a thing. Now that is not to say that you can't work with this tone and end up with something you like. And honestly, maybe even it's better to have a little extra mid that you can pull out as opposed to not having enough mid that you'd have to put in yourself later. It's just not really my cup of tea. At the same time, the, the second voicing on the push-pull knob doesn't really change the pickup, I think, enough to really warrant getting rid of a neck pickup. So I like the idea, but I feel like it could be executed a little bit better. But once again, that's more of a pickup review than it is the guitar review. All of my love to Comparison. As usual, honestly, it's like, I'm not paid by Comparison to tell you that I love these guitars. I just actually really love these guitars. The build quality is ridiculous. I keep saying it, but it's just true. So what do you think? Would you get a guitar with a single pickup? What do you think of the stripped down guitar style thing? Drop a comment below, let's talk about it. This was a pretty tough video to achieve. A gloss black finish is very, very hard to photograph slash video without getting some really funny looking reflections. I tried really hard to illustrate the asymmet, uh, the, the asymmetry of the body. Going back to that one more time, it's the kind of thing where you look at it and you're like, oh, that seems like really weird and that would be hard to get used to, but it just feels more right than normal guitar. Straight out of the get-go, there's no getting used to it. It just works. 
I really wish that more guitars were built in this sort of fashion. If y'all have any questions or comments, I generally lurk around down there, so I will be happy to <laughs> respond to anything you got. Hope you liked the video. If you did, please hit the like button. It helps me out a bunch. If you wanna see more videos like this, hit the subscribe button. And if you actually wanna see more videos like this, ring the bell, and then YouTube will tell you that I've uploaded a new video. I'm like slurring my words, it's so hot in here. <laughs> uh, if you wanna support content like this, you can become a member on my Patreon or right down below on this YouTube. Uh, you can get stuff like song stems, videos early, behind the scenes tutorials, little sneak peeks, and you get access to an exclusive Discord channel where uh, a lot of times we talk about more in-depth production stuff and a lot of times I will also share little tidbits of new songs specifically just in that discord so a little nice little uh, secret sort of stuff thank you again to comparison for sending me a guitar again even after i beat the last one up <laughs> they said like a couple of times they were like yeah cool uh we can't wait for this review just like please be gentle <laughs> And I was like, I get it, guys. I'm sorry. I'm sorry again. So thank you again to Comparison. And thank you to y'all for watching. I really appreciate it. I hope you enjoyed it. I'm going to turn this fan on that's next to me because I am sweating my face off. I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.